Hey guys, welcome to Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and in this video, we are going to see the dif major difference between the Selenium and Cybrus. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so let's come to sir, certain important, important points here, right? Cybrus and Selenium both are, are test automation frameworks for web application again, right? Cybrus is again, it's a new player, whereas Selenium is a well-established framework, right? And if we talk about the Selenium, Right, and it's a test automation framework, basically enables any kind of a software developer or tester to create or automate the web browser, right? And if they have certain type kind of a test cases, then you can automate and that you can run on or any kind of web browser, right? It supports multiple languages as well as it supports multiple browsers. That is a major advantage of the Selenium, right? Again, if you talk about Cybrus, it's a JavaScript test automation solution for especially for web application, right? It supports Java, right, uh, JavaScript right now. And again, it can be used to create scripts, right? And the solution is generally available. Basically, the, this uh, test automation framework is mostly available for any kind of, you can say, the front-end automation, right? Whereas, uh, means, uh, again, in Selenium also, you can do that same, same thing, but yeah, the point here is that, the major point here is that the programming language supports is only JavaScript, right? And right now, Cypress only supports Mocha test framework, right? So if you have uh, never worked with Mocha test framework, then you're not gonna have a little bit, you can say hard time figuring out. But yeah, the uh, if you talk about the code, this is a typical Cypress code look like, right? It's very simple according to me, and uh, it's very easy to understand. If you have worked with WebDriver JS, Product or Node.js uh, with Selenium, definitely you have uh, worked with these kind of uh, syntax, right? So this is the most important slide and uh, this is basically talks about what is the major difference between the Selenium and Cypress, right? So let me pull up my uh, marker here, right? So if we talk about if we talk about the supported dev languages that you already know means most of the people already know that Selenium supports variety of variety of languages like Java, C Sharp, JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Objective-C, right? Multiple languages. Whereas if we talk about Cypress, only so it only supports as of now the JavaScript, right? If we talk about the browsers, again, the Selenium supports multiple browsers like Chrome, Safari, Firefox, IE, Edge, Opera, right? Whereas uh, right now, uh, Cypress supports Chrome and Electron app, that's all. Uh, whereas if we talk about the test automation framework, Selenium supports most of uh, most of the frameworks yeah, that uh, right now available for di with different kind of languages, right? Whereas if we talk about Cypress, only Mocha, right? So, right, and let me put up myself here, yeah. And yeah, so if we talk about the setup and execution, Selenium, uh, again, Selenium, I would say Selenium, uh, steps and executions are little bit uh, technical, more technical, but uh, if we talk about Cybrus, it's very too easy because uh, you, just, you just need to install Node.js on your machine and after that you just need to install certain packages of Cybrus and you are good to go with it, right? Uh, if we talk about integration, that means Selenium has plenty of integration with CIGT, Jenkins tools and different uh, Travis CI and all, right? Whereas uh, Cybrus, I have seen that limited uh, integration is there, but yeah, Definitely in future, we can have a mul multiple more uh, in type of integrations, right? Similarly, if we talk about the breadth of testing options, end-to-end -end pos is possible, security is also possible, and unit testing is also possible. Right now, Cybrus only supports the end-to-end -end testing, right? Similarly, if we talk about the maturity of documentation, uh, I mean, Selenium has a robust community, as well as documentation, best practices, lots of books are already available for Selenium, right? It has been, uh, a well-established player, player whereas Cybrus I have seen means I have worked with it good documentation available growing community as well as because uh, people uh, if we talk about if we want to do particularly a front-end testing and all definitely Cybrus is a great option so uh, when when should I choose Cybrus over Selenium well, if you are uh, basically wants to do most of your time like say uh, if you are performing any kind of sanity or smoke test and you wanted to do it for especially for Chrome and all, definitely go with Cybrus. Uh, it's easy. It's easy. First of all, the first point is easy. Easy to do it step by step. Uh, you can do plenty of things and uh, definitely very fast uh, as compared to Selenium. And uh, definitely do try it out. Means we have tried few of our front end test cases and work very well. 
here so uh, let me let's uh, do one thing let me pull up some so let's see yeah so uh, let me pull up myself here so uh, this is the cyber site cybers.io and uh, here as you can see they have shown certain demos uh, like you can have wait get screenshot click on this add get screenshot and certain assertions like very simple demo how you install it you just need to install with using npm right npm install cybers you will just go to go and you can set up your test case write test case run test case and record record and play is already available here it's again a few uh, open source have uh, some some amazing uh, open source benefits of cybers is already but uh, yeah there is also a certain pricing available with uh, cybers right now right and uh, uh, right yeah but uh, if we talk about selenium and all means it's free open source and great community lots of different tools like web drivers id and grid and uh, greater support with it right so uh, this was a smaller way uh, smaller comparison between cybers and uh, selenium from my side and do let me know in the comments how do you feel this uh, let me pull up my slide yeah so uh, don't forget uh, especially don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, don't forget uh, if you have any kind of doubt or if you want to ask anything and just uh, comment down below and definitely going to reply back to me all right so uh, i hope you are uh, thanks for watching this video and uh, see you in the next one